How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075. We're talking about Stanford's new deputy chief vehicle. We've got Frank from Stanford Fire, who's the captain of the mechanical division. So obviously having two vehicles, we were able to build the first one. We kept all the, the data and the paperwork on it. We were able to duplicate that vehicle for you. What was the benefit or the purpose of having the second vehicle? So we've always had two deputy chief's vehicles. The last uh, two vehicles we were in were Suburbans. Um, they were bought very close together as well. It gives us a, a little bit of flexibility for service for us, and it also, if for some reason they're out of that car for, you know, we need it at the garage for maintenance, or they have an event where we need to put a second deputy chief on in the city, we don't want one shift commander working in a different fashion or manner than the other one would be. We want them to be working out of the same vehicle, operating the same, and having all that technology that we invested in in these two vehicles, you know, we want that to be out in the streets no matter what part of the city they're covering or if they're doing a special event or something like that. And we did a lot of work with the first one to get the design down and get everybody's feedback. And then we got that one in service and then when we went to do the second one, we made some minor changes to it to make it a little bit more serviceable, I guess, was I guess the overall function of it, but the function of the purpose of having all the monitors and stuff is all still the same. Yes, yep, the intention is still the same. Uh, we did, it was nice to have the other car in service for maybe three, four months before the other one showed up here to have the conversion done. There was a couple things that we did change, a couple things that we made to uh, work Proof better. The design. Yeah, work yeah. better for us on serviceability, but also some stuff that the chiefs and the actual uh, drivers of the vehicles wanted as well. You don't get to, you actually get to use it and exactly. have to actually work on it. And it's hard to tell from, you know, looking at a plan, how everything's gonna work, but we were able to make everything still work off of it and not really have to do any complete redesign starting And it was scratch. all easy stuff. So a lot of the stuff that we changed on the new one, we've already went back and kind of updated the, the first delivery to match. So both cars are pretty much option for option and function identically. We hate to interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast for a shameless merch plug. Head over to our store, check out our t-shirts, check out our hats, and check out our mugs. So we're looking at the back. Obviously, we said the biggest part of this vehicle is the technology in the incident command module on the back of it. So if you want to kind of just give us the feedback that you got from the first one that we're able to incorporate into this one. Yes. Yeah, so one of the main changes we made on the first car into the second car was we changed the monitor that we went with for the rear display. It's basically the same size, but they were kind of unhappy with the sun glare issues we were having and basically working out on a day like today, if you can't see the monitor, then that kind of defeats the whole purpose. So we went with the same brand that was on the sides when it was originally delivered, but we changed the rear monitors to match those. It's the same series, same brand, they're Mimo. Uh, they're available through 1075, and they're very, very happy with, uh, with those monitor changes. With the bigger monitor, we moved the speakers out from behind here and moved them down to the front face. And just for accessibility purposes, we found sometimes we do have to get into the area where the computers are housed. They may have to be updated or, or uh, changed around at some point. The access on the first delivery was through the top. Um, we worked with 1075 down here to see if we can get a little better access, which they were able to give us pop-up hatches on both sides, which lets us get into the radios, the network hub, the computers, fuses. So that made it really, really easy for us. Frank's gonna go over a little bit of how they the original plan of using the software with the docking station on the side is morphed into you know, three workstations. So the cabinet was always set up with three workstations. It was basically a, a workstation for the main incident commander here. Uh, the other workstation, the intention would be for like a safety officer or another chief officer as they arrive, as the incident grows. This third setup was basically gonna be for them to take the tablet, which is our CAD interface from the front plug it into the dock in the back and bring that data up here. What we kind of found is that data is all on this program, so it was kind of redundant, and it would be more beneficial for us to create a third independent workstation. So since this car was delivered, we've abandoned the dock idea, and we've actually installed a third computer um, 
and a third interface into the network. So this can basically be used as three separate people working independently. So if it was a larger incident or an MCI where maybe the EMS shift supervisor wants a place to work out of at the command post, that person could come here. It just gave us a little more flexibility than just having the same information displayed twice. And going from a Suburban with none of this in there to yeah. something that's this well built out is hard to kind, kind of, of hard to do that, you know, at the back all of the scenarios without actually getting to use it. Yes, but having that third workstation, I think, is going to be going to be big, and we've already incorporated that into the new delivery. I just want to thank Ryan and the entire staff down here for putting this whole project together. It's been a couple years in the making. I mean, it took us over a year to get the chassis in and then to kind of bring this from concept from our first meeting in the office to actually seeing both of them sitting here today and hitting the streets of the city tomorrow. It is a good conclusion. It's going to definitely change the way uh, we operate and we hope other departments have the opportunity to check out what we've done and maybe see if this is a fit for them. Right, because it's not something that we've really seen done for anybody. It's kind of a new platform design between the incident command system with the software and the three monitors to the toolboxes with the cap. It's definitely a, uh, a major push on firefighter safety. Uh, our city's pretty forward thinking on some of the technology that's available. We've worked with a lot of different vendors on trialing some stuff that's coming out and the main goal is just to keep everybody on the streets safer. We'd like to thank the Stanford Fire Department for bringing both vehicles down so that we can get some footage and kind of go over all the changes that we've made for them. If you'd like to get more information on this vehicle, you can check out our website and shoot us an email. We'd love to answer any questions.